welcome back to Melinda's Messy Sink. Today's video is a little bit of everything, but I'm excited to announce that it's a what's for dinner video. I have kickstarted my cooking motivation and I've got three quick and easy dinner ideas for you. I recently mentioned that I had hurt my shoulder. Several of you guys had emailed me or messaged me to ask me um, what had happened and if I was okay. So to be honest, I have no idea what I did to my shoulder. I have um, a problem with my rotator cuff. They think it's a tear, but he's not sure yet. They did a cortisone injection and they've sent me to occupational therapy. No raising my head up high, no lifting, blah, 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 all this stuff. So six weeks of therapy, if not better, MRI, and then um, more to come. So hopefully the cortisone shot and the therapy will knock this thing out. The other thing that I wanted to do in this video today is to talk about the wooden set that I received from Simply Cool Things. So a few weeks ago, I had showed you the unboxing of the wooden spoon set. I have used that for about three weeks now, and I cannot tell you how much I love those. Um, I have washed them, I have cooked them, I have had them in high heat, I have, I have done so much everyday life cooking um, with those wooden um, spoons and they have held up so great. Um, the price point that they are, they are very um, uh, economical set and they have held up to their potential. The stain is not coming um, off, it's not lightning. Um, they're not, the spoons are not cracking. I've added a clip of those wooden spoon sets just to remind you how super cute they were and that if you need some spoon sets, these are definitely ones to check out. So let's go ahead and let's get into our what's for dinners this week. Hey guys, tonight for dinner we are having um, ribeye steaks on the grill. These are two packages of the steaks that we got whenever we purchased our half a cow. So um, what we're doing is we're heating up the grill right now and I'm going to um, season these up. My husband likes his with Montreal steak seasoning and I like mine with Lowry's. Um, as I don't know if you saw my video or not about us buying half a cow. One of these steaks is thicker than the other one, so I'm going to um, get his that are thicker, all seasoned up and ready to go, and then I'll work on mine. All right, we're gonna start with my husband's steaks. I'm going to let these rest about 15, 20 minutes and let them come up to, um, to get the chill off and come up to room temperature. So I'm just taking some meat tenderizer and I'm gonna put it on this top side. And then next, he likes Montreal steak seasoning. I'm going to add the steak seasoning on this side. And then I'm gonna let these rest. I'm gonna flip them over and do the exact same thing on the other side. And um, once they come up to temperature, we'll get them on the grill. Now for my steaks, I like to add pepper, Lowry seasoning salt. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. All right guys, for sides tonight, we are just having baked potatoes. My husband said he didn't want any veggies or any salad, just a baked potato was fine with him. I went and got the stuff that was in our camper and I found this platter and it reminded me how excited I get whenever it's summertime and time to start barbecue now. Today is the first day of spring that I'm filming this, so perfect day to get to cook on the grill. All right, we went ahead and patted up some hamburgers as well, and I'll have those for um, lunch um, over the, throughout the week. I love leftover hamburgers. So we're gonna go ahead and let these cook about, my husband, babe, how do you want your steak? Um, we're gonna cook those steaks medium, and his is just a little thicker, so I started his first. Be back in a bit. Where's your toy, Abe? It might be right by your foot. All right, it's time to turn. We cleaned the grill really well and now it's sticking. 
we'll get it all seasoned up again here real soon. All right, guys, we're heading inside. And here is dinner at our house. Ribeye steaks and baked potatoes. So tell me down in the comments, are you an A1 person, a Heinz 57, or what is your favorite kind of steak sauce, if any? Tonight for dinner, we are going to be having chicken sandwiches. I just have these um, pre-made chicken patties that I'm gonna fry up. They're fully cooked and breaded. We just need to give, warm them up. And then I'm gonna do some easy macaroni and cheese and a can of green beans. So we're gonna get started with putting the water on to boil for the uh, macaroni and cheese. And we're heating up our grease to, shop, to fry our patties. I'll meet you over on my cooktop. Our water is boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and get our macaroni and cheese cooking. All right, our grease should be up to temperature, so we're gonna kind of stick the side of this one in here. Yep, we're good, okay. All right, we'll be back in just a little bit when it's time to flip. I almost knocked y'all over. We'll be back in just a little bit when it's time to flip. Hey guys, okay, so it's time for us to flip. Our macaroni and cheese has about a minute left, and our green beans over here in this pot are uh, just, just got them turned on. And we're gonna crank up the heat a little bit. Dinner is moving right along. While I've been getting everything set up, my husband sliced up some onions, lettuce, and tomato. We've got our bunny um, hamburger buns, and my husband's gonna use Miracle Whip. I'm gonna use Duke's. And I just remembered that these baked beans are still in our refrigerator. I'm gonna go ahead and warm these up as well. Okay guys, our macaroni and cheese is done. We're gonna get this drained and get it mixed up. And we're gonna meet you over on the counter. Green beans are almost done. Chicken's getting ready to come out of the skillet. Okay y'all, here is dinner at our house. Chicken sandwich, macaroni and cheese, baked beans, and my husband didn't want any green beans, um, but we also have that as well. Hey guys, tonight for dinner, we are having biscuits and gravy. I am browning a roll of breakfast sausage and I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees for my biscuits. I am using the Grand Southern Home Style biscuits and I'm just following the directions right on the package. Once this gets browned off, I'll be back and we'll go to the next step for the gravy. Okay, so our, our sausage is browned up and now we're gonna add some regular flour. I always make a mess when I'm doing this, you guys, so just be prepared. It is time to add our milk. I don't measure, so I just tend to go a little bit above where the sausage is laid out in a single layer. So that's my non-technical term. Once I start turning it, if I feel like I need a little bit more uh, milk, then I add some initially, which this time I do think I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Okay, that's good for sure. Gravy is something that you have to babysit. Um, it will burn on the bottom, the milk will burn. And it looks like nothing's happening, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, and all of a sudden it's done. I have been distracted and I've had gravy turn into mashed potatoes consistency. <laughs> so, so I learned my lesson and I know I just gotta stay pretty close to it and keep a good eye on it. You also are gonna wanna keep your heat up pretty high so that it brings your milk up to temperature and so that flour can start working to make the gravy. I like to add pepper to my gravy. And then I add um, some Lowry seasoning salt. Not a lot, just a little, but it gives it um, some good flavor in my opinion. I'm gonna keep sitting here babysitting and I'll be back whenever things start getting close. Okay guys, our gravy is up to a boil even when stirring. 
the center is really starting to thicken up. We're gonna do just like I said, to keep stirring it to make sure that the bottom does not burn because I still have it up on pretty high heat. Gravy is a personal preference of how thin or how thick you like it. My husband likes his a little thicker than I do, so when he makes it, I do thick gravy. When I make it, he does um, a more thinner gravy. I'm sure you guys have those kind of compromises at your house too. <laughs> Okay, let's see where we're at here. So it's sticking to the back of the spoon, so that definitely means we're getting thick. And from here on out is seriously your preference. I believe our gravy's done. Our biscuits will be done in just a little bit as well. And we'll meet you over on the counter and get this plated up. And here is dinner at our house, sausage gravy, and biscuits. And that's a wrap on this week's video. Thank you all so much for following along. As always, we appreciate you so, so much and all of your support for my channel. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. I'll see you guys in the next one.